Today we're going to look at long tail keywords and how we can use long tail keywords to improve our search engine rankings and increase our conversion based on how we're generating traffic. We're going to look at long tail keyword tools that we can use when implementing our long tail uh, keyword SEO, search engine optimization. I'm going to show you uh, real deal examples today of long tail keywords, the differences in the long tail and in the head terms, um, and how you can implement these in your business. Now for today, we're going to go ahead and use a real estate website as an example. So real estate website here in Las Vegas, we're going to look at the actual analytics and how the long tail keywords, how this website is winning um, in the long tail in the long tail keywords, okay? Um, in full disclosure, I, this website happens to be mine. I have a, a real estate company in Las Vegas in addition to my marketing company, Ballon Brands, where we build real estate websites and blog posts and pay-per-click services. And so the, the this is me. The fantastic thing is that I get to live in my, um, I get to use my real estate business as a, um, as a, a test kitchen. It's my science lab to test things and prove things and um, and bring them back to you guys. So that's what we're going to do today. All right. We're also going to use um, a couple tools. We're going to use uh, SEM Rush today. This is one of my favorite tools. And you can find a link to that if you go to lauristools.com. lauristools.com, you'll be able to find all of the tools that I use every day to generate hundreds of leads organically for my real estate website um, and thousands of leads for my other brands. So if you look here, you can go to scroll down to SEM Rush. This is the tool that we're going to use today, SEM Rush. Okay, so you can click that, set yourself up on a free trial and check it out. It's not one of the cheapest tools in the world. I want to say I have, I think I have the Guru Edition and pay like 60 bucks a month or $70 a month or something like that. Uh, but there's different levels, and there's a free to start off with that'll show you some data that you can actually start with, which is good. Free is always good. All right, so first, let me explain the long tail a little bit. What happens is a lot of people refer, we'll, we'll talk about the, um, the body of a dragon, okay, or a dinosaur. And if you were to picture the head of the dinosaurs up here, and then we have the belly here, and then we have the tail here. So up towards the head, we have our head term. So this is going to be the most popular, the highest search volume um, version of the, of the keyword that we're looking at. In this particular case, we've got the phrase shoes, okay? Um, I'm gonna show you some real estate examples coming up. But this is your head term, shoes. Now, let's just say that you happen to have a shoe store and your shoe store um, might sell online, but it's also got a brick and mortar local business. So you cater more towards your walk-in storefront business. Ranking for a term like shoes is going to be incredibly competitive, incredibly hard to rank for because of the high competition and way too broad to bring in customers that are going to convert in your store. So the head term for you is probably not going to be ideal. We, we go down a little bit into the belly. Now we're into two to three word phrases, okay? In this particular case, men's shoes. So men's shoes is going to be more specific, yet for you, brick and mortar store that has men's and women's and children's, it's still too broad. Now, we, your shoe store happens to specialize in tennis shoes, running shoes, okay? So we go down into the long tail and we get red Nike men's running shoes. And even if you didn't specialize only in tennis shoes, this is still a much better way to target. If somebody were searching on Google and typed in the exact keyword phrase, red Nike men's running shoes, the odds that you're going to rank for your, that you're going to convert in your store if you have red Nike men's running shoes is much higher because that searcher has a very specific intent. They want a very specific product. You happen to sell that very specific product. 
Now I'm gonna I'm gonna drill this down and show you exactly how this works and show you some real numbers. Okay, this was just kind of a overview on what the long tail phrase is. So up here we have the head term, also referred to as seed terms when we're doing our keyword research. This is the belly. These are your belly keywords, and down here we have your long tail keywords. So your long tail keywords are gonna be three, four, five, six, seven, eight keywords all used together to make a more specific keyword phrase. All right. So let's take a real deal example here. Let's take our um, real estate example. We're going to go over here to searches and we're going to look at the newest unique keywords people are using to find this website starting from today. It happens to be July 6, 2017. These are real keyword phrases that people typed into the search engine to find our website. Clearly, we specialize in long tail keywords for SEO. Um, if you are a real estate agent, you understand that we're competing against Zillow and truly on realtor.com and Redfin and all of the all of those large portals and, and major brokerages for terms like homes for sale, Las Vegas homes for sale, Las Vegas real estate. So we don't even focus on those head terms as a as a as a primary, let's go after these keywords. We go after the long tail keywords. And so we, we do our keyword research, we find the opportunity, and we build content around the opportunity. Therefore, generating hundreds of organic leads every month. Organic meaning non-paid. So we're not paying per click for those keywords. Um, so organically, several hundred keywords a month earned in, okay, for this for this particular website. So here, somebody specifically typed in realtor.com, 6140 Kingsbrook Court, Las Vegas. So they're looking for information about that address, and they believe realtor.com is going to have the advantage. Or this could be a real estate agent wanting to see what their, how their website, how their listing ranks on realtor.com. Um, next one, poisonous snakes in Las Vegas, one, two, three, four, five. Las Vegas, whether, you, uh, whether you'd consider that one word or two words, one, two, three, four. Four. So four keywords in that long tail. Here's another one. Is there snakes in Las Vegas? One, two, three, four, five. The head term would be snakes. The belly term would be Las Vegas snakes. The long tail would be is there snakes in Las Vegas or poisonous snakes in Las Vegas. You see the differences in those niches? What side of Las Vegas is 89128? Long tail. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a really long one. Somebody's looking, for, again, for, for specific brokerage and address. Las Vegas zip code, PDF 2017. Sur La Table cooking classes, Las Vegas. Look how many keywords. Homes for sale in Las Vegas gated community. This is another one. The head term would be gated community. Belly term, Las Vegas gated community. Long tail, homes for sale in Las Vegas gated community. So when we do this keyword research, we build the page titles around that long tail. We optimize the page for that long tail keyword phrase. That's what we're going after. And what happens is we wind up ranking for so many more keyword phrases around, around um, homes for sale in Las Vegas gated community could also be phrased Las Vegas community homes for sale, right? Three bedroom homes for sale in Las Vegas community, Las Vegas gated community with a pool. Those are all going to be long tail phrases that one page on our website ranks for, even though it's only optimized maybe for one long tail, Google smart and says, oh, well, this page is also about this phrase and this phrase. So it, it you can rank for all kinds of phrases around there. All right, so now let's even go into more specific example. Okay, looking again at this website. If we go over to Google Search Console, Google Search Console, oh, let me turn this off. Google Search Console used to be called Google Webmaster Tools. It's now called Google Search Console. This is a free tool and it's incredibly valuable, although it's a little bit complicated to use for the, especially for the, the average real estate agent that's out in the field taking listings and buyers that isn't a, a, a major computer analytic person, right? So what we're looking at here is we have the ability to actually look at some of the keywords that our website is ranking for and bringing traffic to, okay? Where my favorite tool over here, SEM Rush, which we're going to come back to in a minute, um, will show us the thousands and thousands and thousands of keywords we rank for, 
Search Console is focused on the traffic. Which, which keywords are they tracking that are bringing us traffic, okay? So this is cool and it's free. So let's go ahead and take a look here and um, we've got a, um, uh, just a 28 day time frame open here. Now sorted from most clicks to lowest clicks, what we're able to see here is that this phrase, new homes in Las Vegas under 200,000 has earned us the most clicks on our website for the last 28 days, okay? This one particular page. Uh, this one particular keyword phrase. Now we can open the page by clicking this little button or we're going to open the SERP, the search engine results page, and we can take a look at what's happening on this page. So the first top listings are paid ads, sponsored ads. Okay, They get a very small amount of the clicks on the page. That's the good news. Number one here today in my location is my website. This is, the, this is our example today. And then you have several others under this. Notice that we're beating Zillow for that long tail keyword phrase. We're beating homes.com for that long tail keyword phrase. You don't even see Redfin or truly a realtor.com for that long tail keyword phrase. Okay, that's the good news. This is why we do long tail. The bad news is it's got a very small number of searches. Okay, yet even though it has a small number of searches, it's the seventh highest traffic page on this particular website. And that page ranks for 65 other terms around this. So let me show you, let me show you how this works. We're going to go over here to our tool SEMrush. And we're going to go down here and look at our keyword report. Okay. Now typically our website ranks for anywhere between 14,500 keywords and 15,000 keywords, okay, in the top 100 spots of Google. They fluctuate, move in and out. Um, our key, our focus keywords stay, stay, stay pretty, um, stay in their relative positions, but then those, those bottom ones that are over there on page 8, 9, and 10, they fluctuate in and out of that top 100. That's very normal. So what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and look at, um, we're going to look at two things. So let me open a um, let me open another version of this SEM rush here and we're going to type in new, new homes for sale in Las Vegas. Oh, I'm sorry. We actually want new homes. Okay. If we were just, just to look at the head term new homes. So remember that drag, that dragon or that dinosaur, your head term is going to be new homes then you're going to have your belly terms, and then you're going to have that long tail phrase at the very tip, which is new homes in Las Vegas under 200,000. So let's break down how this actually works. The head term, new homes, okay? It has 9,900 and monthly, 9,900 monthly searches and in the United States. Let's go ahead and open bigger so I can show you the rest of the data here. I guess we're getting everything we need right here. Okay, uh, 9,900 searches. The um, cost per click on this particular keyword is $4.50. So what that means is if I were to pay for the phrase new homes, the average cost per click is going to be $4.50. Competition for advertising competition is 0.82. So what that means, I need to view the full report. Hold on, hold on, let me click through one more time. There we are, that's what I want, right here, new homes. Um, the organic earned in competition, the keyword difficulty, which by the way, this is a SEM rush keyword difficulty tool, so their own algorithm. Out of 100, they're saying new homes has a competition of 74.27. So it's got a very high competition level to earn in. So it's going to be very hard to get onto page one. Not impossible, very hard. Again, I showed you who we're competing against, so these, these are going to be a lot more challenging. Um, actually, did we open the new home SERP? I don't think we did. Hold on. Let me open that. So just the phrase new homes. Right on top is new home source. We're not going to beat new home source. We're not, we're not, we don't specialize in only new homes. So the, 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 
the, I, the thought that we would actually beat them for general white hat, good practices SEO is pretty slim. Second one's realtor.com. Third one is new homes guide. If I don't think I'm going to get into that top three, which by the way, the organic top three earns 65% of the clicks on the page. So my goal is always organic top three. And that's one reason why I don't compete for those head terms, because usually that's Zillow, Realtor.com, those types of things in that top three. Um, although most of the conversions happen in the long tail, most of the traffic happens in those top three positions, okay? So it's important to, um, to note who's showing up here, new homes listing, homes.com. These are national, okay? Um, Lake Las Vegas, that's a local home builder. Now we've got California, New York. I'm in Las Vegas. What do, what would these, what would anybody searching this, how would any of them be interested in Las Vegas if they're just typing in new homes and they're finding everything else? So it's way too broad. I don't even want to go after that keyword. It wouldn't even make sense if I ranked number one for that term. It's going to have an incredibly high bounce rate. It's not going to get good click-throughs because it's too broad and people are in all these other, other cities, states, countries. And so that's not a good term to go after. So what we've determined is new homes, the head term, is probably not a beneficial keyword phrase to us for us to strategically target. So let's go down into the belly a little bit more. And now we're going to go into new homes in Las Vegas. So now we have one, two, three, four keywords. Let's see what happens when we go into that belly now and look at that keyword. Okay, here we go, right on top. New homes, Las Vegas. Now ignore all these ones underneath these for right now because those are going to be your some suggested terms that we can go into. You have a 2,900 a month search volume. So you've gone from 9,900 to only 2,900, but it's more focused. Your keyword difficulty is still still pretty high at 74.36. So it's that, that means this particular phrase, new homes um, in, oh, I'm sorry, we're here, new homes in Las Vegas. We're, we're in Las Vegas. We're looking at this one, 720. It means it's still competitive. That in our in our market, in this landscape, new homes in Las Vegas is still a competitive keyword, even though it's more long tail. The cost per click dropped from four fifty a keyword to three dollars and twenty four cents. So if I were an advertiser, it might be worth it for me if I'm using Google AdWords and doing pay per click instead of running the keyword phrase new homes. It might be beneficial to pay the three twenty four and run new homes in Las Vegas, or even go further long tail and try to find find cheaper clicks, okay? Competition for the advertising space, 0.95 out of 100, still incredibly competitive. So it's hard to earn in and hard to buy in the phrase new homes in Las Vegas, although not going to be impossible. But let's go ahead and open the SERP again. SERP stands for search engine results page. And let's take a look at who's ranking here. So your advertisers are up here, Pulte, Summerlin.com, Lennar.com. So we have a master plan community, and we have several new home builders, KB, that are taking up those um, paid spots there. Very competitive. And again, let's look at your number one spot. That new home source takes the number one spot again. DR Horton is a new home builder, has number two. KB Homes has number three. So those are going to get 65% of the clicks on the page. Then we drop down to Pardee, Zillow, Lennar, Realtor, Lake Las Vegas, Pulte, Redfin, Beezer, Richmond. These are all new home builders that are here. Trulia enters, Redfin enters. Um, the odds that I'm going to get on page one for new homes in Las Vegas is slim. Again, I don't specialize in new homes. I'm not a new home builder, although I offer them and I want to rank for them. That's probably not the term I want to go after either. So now we go a little bit further. And it, here's a great example. If you see what I just did and when I clicked on this button and I started new homes in Las Vegas, this is actually how I find a lot of these long tails. Google actually suggests other phrases that it is tracking a history of people typing in these queries, these search terms, okay? So this is how we come up with new homes in Las Vegas under 200,000 as we go, oh, look at this. Google is tracking that people, this is trending. People are typing this into their search bar. This might be a good long tail to go after. Okay. So right now I'm showing you the after effect of how we've tracked the long tails once we created them. This is how we do the, the, the beginning by looking up um, keywords. Okay. So new homes in Las Vegas under 200,000. So let's go to that one now. So now we're into that tip of the tail. So our head term was new homes. Our belly term was new homes in Las Vegas. Our long tail tip is going to be 
new homes in Las Vegas under two whoop, under two hundred thousand. All right. This is a really cool comparison here, actually, how we have the two show up here. Um, new homes in Las Vegas under 200000 with the dollar sign versus new homes in Las Vegas under 200000 without the dollar sign. Um, changes things significantly, doesn't it? That being said, although it's tracking that exact match term, Google's smarter than that, and it will often interchange and, and return the others. But if you wanted to optimize your page and drop the dollar sign and go for the lower search volume, lower competition, lower cost per click, it might be worth testing. In our particular example, we're using the dollar sign, so I want to show you the exact example. Okay, so as I showed you in Google Search Console right here, our top top um, clicks is coming from the long tail phrase "new homes in Las Vegas under two hundred thousand." Okay. Um, let's take a look at this one. Now, it only has 210, okay? But let's open the SERP for a second. Go over here. Let's open the search engine results page. Let's take a look at it. So 210 searches a month. A lot of people would think, oh, that's not worth going after. It's not thousands. It's not going to bring me business. That's completely false. You can do a huge business on 50 searches a month, okay? So in this particular case, we have 210 searches a month. Um, Today, we rank number one in that position. We average, I think, 1.5, so it fluctuates. And obviously, depending on your geographic location and your personalization, if you've been to my website before or if you're logged into Google and it's tracking your history, that position might change a little bit, but typically you're going to find it in the top three there, most often in the number one spot. So that's my website there. And um, as we scroll down, we can see that we're beating new homes directory, and they do specialize on new homes. We're beating Zillow. We're beating Zillow. Um, that's another local. We've got a number two was another local agent. Um, Homes.com, New Home Source, Pardee Homes, Las Vegas Modern Homes. Okay, so as you can see here, it's so funny to me that the um, new home builders haven't figured this out. Um, but I'll, I'll, here's a tip, by the way. Today, there's not. We don't have new homes under two hundred thousand. Very many. So most of these new home builders wouldn't want to rank for new homes in Las Vegas under 200,000. They'd much rather rank for new homes for sale under 300,000. And in my particular case, what I do is I send them to a page of homes for new homes under 200,000 if there are any, depending on our market. Oh, there are some. See? That looks good. This is our new brew website, by the way, Ballon Real Estate Websites. If you go to ballonbrands.com slash brew, my marketing company builds these. Beautiful, mobile responsive, fast, IDX powered buyer slash seller websites. Okay, so they'll be able to see these, and then I have a um, then I have more options for them: new homes in Summerlin, new homes in Henderson, new homes in North Las Vegas, um, that type of thing. Okay, so there still are. So if I were this builder, oh, these are prompt. If I were this builder here, um, I would make sure that, and if I had homes for sale under two hundred thousand, I would make sure I was ranking for that term, even if they're going to be under contract. If you look, all of those homes are under contract. We only have two homes in Las Vegas that, oh, one home in Las Vegas, this is Pahrump, one home in Las Vegas under 200,000 that's active today. One. <laughs> that's listed in the MLS. That doesn't mean there's not dirt being sold, but this is, this is, uh, this is the only house that has a move-in right now that's under 200,000 in Las Vegas. So if you're looking for that, run out there and get this. Give us a call. Let's get you out there to that new home right now. All right. Um, so that's just an example. And obviously, whenever you have homes by feature in your lower price ranges, you're going to have a lot higher um, traffic. People just search that way. So they search by price. They search by low price. They search by phrases like cheap homes. And um, and that's that's how we how we rank. Okay. So this is um, this is the long tail. This is how it's done essentially. Um, I think that's the only example that I, I, I'm going to go into today. I'm not sure how many minutes we're at. Um, I showed you the page that we actually rank for here. And you'll notice there's not a lot of content on the page. There's not a lot of words on the page, and it still ranks very high. That's because the property widget, the IDX, the real estate listings, are enough value 
for that for the customer that Google doesn't need to see more words on the page to rank you. I always talk about long form content and how you need to create 2,000 words to rank on page one. But these are different cases. These are long tail keywords. These are the niches and these are people that are only looking for the product. So it doesn't make sense to have a whole lot of extra words on this page and it's not necessary because it ranks. So you can build these community pages, these homes by price, homes by feature, um, and rank very well without putting a lot of content on the page. So we'll come back and show you more. Um, again, the long tail tool that I'm using here is called SEM Rush. And um, I'll just give you a one quick peek, which is super fun right before we go. If we look at my Bal in Vegas website. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I know there's one other thing. You know, I'll do it in another video. Let's go down here and look at um, look at view full report. And we take a look at all of the keywords. Let's sort by traffic highest to lowest. And take a look at the long tail examples. Highest to lowest. So the number one keyword phrase on my website earning traffic is Las Vegas Strip zip code. One, two, three, four long tails. Next one is new homes in Las Vegas under 200,000, which I just showed you. So it's the it's the seventh highest page on my website earning traffic, and but it's the second um Second, second highest keyword phrase. What is a casita? Cheap houses for sale. Blue Heron Homes. Las Vegas real estate market. By the way, for those of you that haven't watched my video on Las Vegas real estate market report, go watch that video. Because this was something new I started in January, was focusing on ranking again for the term Las Vegas real estate market, which, which I had done years ago, and then we just kind of stopped focusing on it. Um, brought it back, created a monthly Las Vegas real estate market report, which is not too challenging. And um, the focus was on how do we get more seller listings? How do we get more leads, which we've now listed and closed several this year that have come from that exact keyword phrase, Las Vegas real estate market. And it's now generating 1.61% of all of our traffic from the search engines. It's our, um, what is it? The one, two, three, four, five, six highest um keyword phrase that we're ranking for and it has a monthly search volume of 880 which is really nice because that's obviously I was showing you the under under 250 and this one's higher and we rank position average rank position number six so my goal now is to push that up into the top three so that'll increase significantly get a, get a much higher click volume and that could actually take our, our number one two or three spot for the search keywords so just an example as you can see they're all long tail keyword phrases and this is how we compete with those portals is by being local, by being specialist and focusing in um, on those long tail keywords. Check out all of my favorite tools by going to lauristools.com. And if you need a real estate website or you need help with your pay-per-click marketing, your organic SEO earned in traffic, we create blogs and articles for you. We can build out your community pages and your listing pages. Check us out at ballandbrands.com. And if you happen to know anybody looking to buy or sell real estate in Las Vegas, my name is Lori Ballin. Lori Ballin team. Um, the website is Ballin Vegas. And we would very much appreciate your real estate referrals here. My team is active and out there and excited um, to work your business. Thank you so much for joining me today.